Hello everybody and welcome to this RJ Connect technical video. My name is Johan Heysalman and I'm a senior field application engineer for RJ Connect. In today's video, we'll be showing you how to connect our cost-effective remote eye solution from Krivus to a Mitsubishi PLC. If you like this type of content, hit like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. For today's demonstration, we'll be connecting a previous GN9284 CC-Link IE Field Basic Network Adapter with analog input and analog output cards to a Mitsubishi FX5U CPU. To do this, we first need to register the profile on GXWorks 3. Go to Tool, select Profile Management, and then click Register. To register the profile for the GN9284 to GXWorks 3. After registering your profile, you should now be able to use this network adapter with any PLC. Select New or open an existing project to start adding your network adapter. For this demonstration, we'll be opening an existing project. After opening your project, you need to go to Parameter, select your CPU, select Module Parameter, and then open the Ethernet port parameters to add your network adapter to the PLC program. Go to Basic Settings, click on CC Link IE Field Basic Settings, and enable CC Link IE Field Basic. After enabling, you need to go to your network configuration settings and open up the detailed settings to add your network adapter. A new window will appear where you can browse and select your network adapter and add it to the CC Link I field network by clicking and dragging like so. For this demonstration, we already added the network adapter to our PLC. After adding your network adapter, you need to set the scan points that you want to use with this network adapter. In our case, we'll be using 64 uh, read and write scan points for bits and 32 scan points for read and write words. Scroll to the right to adjust the IP address settings for your network adapter. In our case, our network adapter is in the same IP range as our PLC. Once you've completed these settings, you can close this window then click Yes to save the configuration. Now we need to adjust the refresh settings to adjust the scan points that we want to read and the addresses they are read and written to. So our scan points for bits, read and write, uh, start with 500 and our read and write scan points for words are 0 and 100 respectively. Once you've configured your CPU side start addresses, you can now use these addresses in your PLC program for programming your network adapter. In our case, we're simply reading from word 0, which is our analog input, and writing to word 100, which is our analog output card connected to the Krivus GN9284 network adapter. Program the PLC. After successfully program, programming your PLC, you can close the window and then start monitoring your PLC program to see the values change. So as you can see, as we adjust our analog input value, our analog output value is also changing to the effect the changes. Now let's look at our IO board connected to the analog input and output cards for our Krivus network adapter. Okay, so after configuring our PLC to communicate with our Krivus remote IO, we can now see the analog input on the analog input card of the remote IO, pushing up our value on the analog output and there we're turning it down again. We are now 
reading the unlock input through the PLC, processing that value, and then writing to the unlock output to change the value of our unlock output on the LED bar. Thank you very much for watching our video tutorial on how to connect our Crevis GN9284 to a Mitsubishi PLC. We hope you liked this video. If you do, hit that like, subscribe so you don't miss any of our future content.